the long cut them off still more there's no limits to these big bass dreams oh yeah all right i'm gonna drop a live dean straight below the boat Feet of water here. I'm gonna lighten my drag a ton just to make sure one gets it. I'm a dumb 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 freaking rod holder. See what happens. I'm gonna keep casting the jerk bait, keep an eye on my rod, lighten that drag up a ton so I don't lose my setup. Wish me luck. <laughs> oh boy. You can feel that thing just vibrating in panic. Marking a lot of fish on the graph, quite a bit of bait fish activity. So might drift this thing right over the top of a halibut or even a leopard shark. Apparently these guys have been sticking with quite a few leopards too and I've actually never caught a leopard shark. Yeah, just gray smooth hounds. So have yet to actually catch a leopard so that would be super dope uh, bycatch. What do you guys think? Think I'm gonna get one? <laughs> and if I do, is it gonna be on the artificial or the live? Leave a comment below. Let's see what the over under is, huh? I really want to catch one on the artificial. Freaking farmed it. Dang, look at that. Got mangled. Next time, bring the rod holder. <laughs> Always a lesson to be learned, huh? Jeez, I might just. They're doing it today, though. I've had three or four big hits. Nothing's left but. I try to, you know, really lighten my drag and yeah. the whole deal. They're not quite, they're just, they're just fitting the back end. They're not quite getting the Totally. And they're holding on to it while you're pulling it up. Nice kayak, bro. Oh, thank you. I love it. Yeah, same. Come on, I've actually been uh, out of one for a few years. Really? Yeah. Someone stole my last PA-14 on my backyard. You're kidding. Yeah. Well, yeah, man, I was pretty bummed to say the least. Make sure I back my drag all the way off so I don't get freaking cornhole and lose my rod. Uh, I think we got a player. Come on, don't drop it. Just eat it. <laughs> All right, like have some ambition. Oh, oh, come on. How long did you let that one play with it for, Johnny? How long did you let that fish play with it for? Oh gosh. How long would I let the fish that fish have bit you? I'm, I'm talking. I'm bit right now. Bait fishing. I just let him eat. Normally, I just let him eat. Now 
them eat at the bottom, just... I was letting them eat it for like a cool yeah, minute, man. Chomp it and they'll, they'll take off a little bit and yeah. stop. That's what he after, did. After that second uh, take off and stop, usually good. Dude, he did it twice. But then there, there are a lot of like shorts, you know, so you might get the smaller guys. Alright, let's check the bait. Jeez. That guy had a rough morning. <laughs> Look at those rakes. My goodness. I really tried my best to let him eat it. But look at that. Pretty much all the way up until the head. That's shark bait now. Over oh, two. Yeah, I was thinking about rigging it up with the treble, but eh, whatever. All right, what did they say? Third time's a charm? Yeah. yeah I, I, if I use sardines, normally I always use a drop up. I might take a hook off my lure. Uh, boy, oh boy. Try and reduce the cluster. Wind my heart bait in. Got my rod and free spool. Try to minimize any pressure that fish may feel. Might drag a little bit. What do we got? Oh yeah, that's a biter. It's moving around quite a bit. I don't even have a mustache, Roman. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh. Apparently, I need a mustache. <laughs> Dang. Oh for three. Good grief, man. Maybe it's this stupid bass hook that I got. Uh. Shark? Hey, when they get all squirrely, it's probably a shark. The squirrely ones? That was pretty squirrely. Yeah. So it looks like I had a shark on. Uh, I had a, I had a something. Let's try that again. All right, brother, talk to me. What's the word? Man, I forgot all the trap hooks at home. So, why? What are you talking about trap hooks for? What's going on? Yeah, these halibut. They, like, they short bite the sardine a lot, so they just eat the tail, they eat halfway up, and you miss a buttload of fish. <laughs> so with a trap hook, you, you put, the, put it towards the other end of the fish, and you, you miss a lot less fish. But the problem is, like I mentioned, I left them all at home, so the only thing we could do here is take them off your lures. <laughs> you know, we got these uh, super sharp hooks that Oliver changed out for bass. And they're gonna be trap hooks right now. So far, Oliver's 0 for 3. 0 for 3. Terrible at this. I went, I'm 2 for 4, but if I had a trap hook, I would be 4 for 4. So here you go, sir. Oh, Here's thanks, a trap man. Hook for you. you gonna show us how to rig one up? Yeah, definitely. We're gonna do that.
A lot of action on the beach today, huh? A lot of action, man. A lot of bent rods. I just saw a guitar fish. You still got red tide, you know, guitar fish, leopards. Smooth hounds. Smooth hounds. And you know, halibuts. The boots. We got the boots. Okay, so, so the proper way to do it, let's rig it the proper way. Leader. Ah. Muy importante. All right. We get a, we left our, well, I, I left all, all my hooks at home, so you gotta improvise and use what you got. Size, use a size one or two hooks, depending on your bait. Match the hatch, just like any other fish. So what I like to do is a front hook. I like to tie it snailed. Ah. We don't want to snail this. Look it up on YouTube. So you twist, twist around the base of the hook four to five times. Put it through that loop-de-loop -loop right there. Talk about the Turn advantages up. of the snail for this situation. Okay. The advantage of snail is, is is a straight tie. Ah, so it lays parallel yep, with lays the parallel. shake of the hook. And on the opposite end, you tie your treble. I want no treble. Right there. And the way I like to fish them is actually with a three-way swivel. Alright. That way when your sardines are twisting and turning and going in circles, get the swivel to take the twisty turns off. Okay. I've legit not used a three-way swivel since I was a kid. Well, I'm time, not opposed to it. I'm time, just saying. Time to be a kid again. It's been a while. Chop that out. Chop it like it's hot. Right there. And the opposite end of the three-way swivel, what you do is you tie a weight. So since we're limited on resources today, we got these <laughs> Mojo new rock hopper weights, which have been working perfectly. Pull one out for me too. Oh, there, there, there you go. You're nice. Side. Rock hopper. Tie this end. It's the opposite of the three-way swivel. You don't need that long of a leader for the weight. So okay. That, just enough to bounce the about bottom. About a foot? Yep, about a foot, foot and a half. Cut a foot and a half, that way you have time with a little waist to tie or you get stuck or whatever. Especially with these mojo weights, you gotta thread it through. Yeah, these, uh, these rock hoppers are actually designed to slide, but since we uh, are short on resources, like Johnny said, we're actually just tying them to secure them. I had to forget a bunch of stuff at home. Of course. The reason being is um, when you're too prepared, you don't catch nothing. Nothing goes right. You know, so this is Oliver haven't caught a halibut or a legal yet. We're going to be unprepared. That way he could... Uh, Catch one. <laughs> but the least you could do is at least rig your gear properly. Not the least. That's actually a must do. Let me show you how we rig up the bait as well. So I have them all tied up right there. The three way silver rig. Three-way swivel bridge. Check that out, guys. Oh Hell of it, Belzer. Ah. If I could get it out of my pack here. Ah. Right there. Check that out. Boom. Trap it. Just like that. All right, all right. You get Mr. Scardina. If I could catch one in the bait tank because I did not listen and stick the first one through his nose. And the second hook, you don't stretch it out too far because if you stretch out too far, the fish cannot swim properly. So you just put a 
partially way up his back, just like that. Oh, in the back. Okay. And then that's it. You send him home and you bounce the bottom with it. You know, all those short bites that we had earlier should have, we should have capitalized on every single one of them. You know, everybody forgets about, you know, trap hooks. And it's very, very important for halibut. And watch, let, let's see how Oliver does. Here, Oliver, you can use my leader. You can oh, you're gonna tie one up for me? Return it. Oh, hell no, bro. Oh, come on, man. That's all you, bro. Come on, dog. I don't know how to tie a snail. Snail, 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 snail. I really don't. Somebody gotta learn today. <laughs> Laters! <laughs> cold blooded! Oh. <laughs> I got it. See if I can not muck this one up, huh? Come on, man. Hey! Hey, look at that. The rod's bent. Go figure. What is it? Uh, don't know. Pretty good so far. So far, the rod's still bent, so that's an improvement. Oh boy, I'm, I got some grass on my line now, too. He's right under you. Want to just grab him for me? <laughs> yeah, just just knock him out for me. Jeez. Some big head shakes. That's like the top line uh, Hobie right there, right? Yeah, it's a Pro Angler 14. It's pretty sick. So far, so good. Get him in the boat, baby. Hey, Johnny, it's really, really good right now. Even I got one. Have you ever fished in the bay over there by uppers and lowers? I have it. I've seen some big halibut get pulled out of there. I'm sure. These guys must be wide open. It's such like a difficult place to get to from... Access wise? Yeah, if you have like a trailer on a bike, Nice. I think it's a beluga or a dolphin or something. How do you guys fight threshers for three hours? I'm already tired. I miss the gym, man. I tried to play some basketball last night. I was pretty winded after like 20 minutes of just <laughs> dribbling drills since they locked the baskets up. Look at this. Let me try this little reverse. Hey! Oh, reverse! Reverse! Oh, dude. It's pretty sick. There we go. Look at that. There it goes. Oh, dude. Check that out. This is a lot of fun. Well, there's three of them. The big one's the Big Bass Dreams channel. And then uh, you got the grind mentality. And then uh, mine is just my name. It's Oliver and I. What do you think it is, Johnny? You think it's a shark? Uh, you got Mr. Leopard on. That's what you got. Hey, it's a start. Hey, uh, Oliver wanted a leopard shark. I did want a leopard shark. This is so cool. Feels good to uh, pull on something with a little bit of weight. Been a while. Oh! oh. And she gone. Farmer. Oh for four. Now you get to tie your own snail drunk. 15 pound, he said. It'd be fine, he said. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's still that's cool. cool. Yeah. Fire shark. 
beat me clean through. Making me work. Nice. All right, guys. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cannibalize one of my trebles off my heart bait here, or a trap hook. Seems like it's a bait kind of day. I wanted to come out here and catch them on the artificial, but everybody's getting bit on bait. I've been bit four times now, bent twice. So I'll try and make it happen. You a keyboard pirate, my man. That's how the lot track is. Catch the fish, catch fish, get him in the net quick. Cast for another stick. That real deal, raw, uncut, still chasing PBs, cause it's never enough. My drag hit. It's to make a catch fish, get him in the net quick, cash for another step. That real deal, raw, uncut, still chasing PBs, cause it's never enough. Medium light, graphite for the subtlest bites. Some bright blue skies, not a cloud in sight. It's dynamite when I drop, and the school ignites, pinning them down on the hop, cause he's.